My name's Ian McMullen. Um, I'm the uh, director and co-founder of Global Financial Consultants, originally from the UK, Leicestershire. I've been in Singapore many years and been financial advisory about 27 years in total. What I enjoy about being a financial advisor is, is that it's enabled me to meet many people from many areas around the world and lots of different uh, experiences. And in particular, I do recall a long time ago working in Papua New Guinea and doing a financial surgery on a gold mine on the Pacific Island. When I was working in Papua New Guinea, I met a lady who um, had been a nun for many years working and helping the poor and children in Papua New Guinea. And I met her in a, a law firm. she just finished being a nun. She decided not to be a nun anymore. And uh, she only had a very short time period uh, left to, towards retirement, in actual fact, 10 years. So I worked with her to help her save, plan her costs, and enable her to put her, her money into a regular savings plan, an investment plan, so the money was invested and grew over 10 years. It was enough to give her a reasonable pension on top of the money that she got from the, uh, the church as well. So that was probably one of the most satisfying things, being able to help her. A common mistake that people perceive about financial advisory is that we actually handle clients' money. And we do not handle clients' money, as I tell everybody when I first meet them. The client's money goes directly from them as clients to the financial institutions, which are major banks and life insurance groups. And then the monies are actually invested not by us, but by major fund groups like JP Morgan, Fidelity, Credit Suisse, Deutsche Bank, UBS, etc. So that's probably the major con uh, uh, concern people have when they first meet them. My investment philosophy is to have a core part of the portfolio, which I call the core portfolio. And that's built up of major uh, global equity funds uh, and government bond funds, uh, also equally globally spread. The reason we have the global spread and that mix of equities and bonds is really to, to have a diverse core that will cope with any financial uh, ups and downs in the markets. And depending on whether you're uh, cautious or balanced, uh, we would go from sort of 60 to 70 percent in, in the core um, uh, holding uh, with 30 to 40 percent in thematic investments, whether they be AI, uh, technology, or ESG, uh, depending on what the themes are at that particular time and what, what's working well in the market. From a young age, I was a very enthusiastic football player. Always playing football uh, after school, before school, during school breaks, at the local parks with my friends. And as much as I love playing football, um, I wasn't particularly fast. In actual fact, I was asthmatic from a very young age. So that made it very difficult to me to actually become a, a good football player, which I would have loved to have done. Um, so I was so enthusiastic, I followed my local team, Leicester City. I even managed to get a job working in their in, uh, management office. Uh, during school holidays or college holidays and uh, during the season where I was also working in the ticket office so it was a good experience for me and even to this day I still look at the paper and they score the television and the results of uh, Leicester City on a uh, Sunday morning to check out see where they are in the league. And when I'm back in the UK I'll go and watch a game and I'll also go and watch Leicester Tigers which is a, a, a rugby union side so I very much like my sport, I uh, don't play too much of it these days, more an avid TV watcher. One of the things I would say for uh, many potential clients out there in the, in, out in the uh, Singapore is that do come and see a financial advisor because what it will enable you to do is to learn more about how it all works and understand uh, how it can benefit you and also, it's not particularly expensive. People always think that it's going to be an expensive exercise. But we're actually uh, remunerated by the banks and financial institutions. So they actually pass on a, a portion of the charge that they would take anyhow. So uh, generally speaking, our ongoing advice, uh, which we charge direct to clients, is 1% per annum, which is uh, not a great deal. And we can easily cover that 1% by the growth in the portfolios. So the 1% fee, uh, our advisory fee, 
is actually taken 25 basis per quarter. So there's less impact on the investment as it grows. And that helps our clients as well. So I would say to anybody out there, come and have a talk to us, find out all about it um, in the initial meeting, and then you can make a decision whether it's uh, something for you or not, rather than making a decision beforehand without even finding out what's actually available for you.